Trey, come here. You have a powerful testimony. You've also been to Bible school. But God did something amazing with your life because you're using your talents, you know, that God has given you. Share with the people that God has done with you. Good morning, River Church. Okay, so I just want to tell you guys something real quick. So I'm originally from Ohio, uh, and I just want to share this with people who think that, you know, they're in an impossible situation. So when I was born, I was two pounds and nine ounces, and I actually flatlined two times. And so they didn't think that I was going to make it at all, and there was no oxygen getting to my brain or anything like that. And so the doctors thought that I would be mentally disabled and physically disabled. But obviously here I am because if God is for you, who can be against you, right? Amen. So anyways, uh, just about two years ago, a lot of people were asking me for drum lessons. And I was like, maybe I should start doing drum lessons. And so I started doing drum lessons. And, uh, you know, I started with one person. Uh, but the Bible says to, to not despise the day of small beginnings because the Lord loves to see a work begin. And so I just remained faithful. And, uh, you know, I started to get more and more students, and I was like, you know what? What if we did something like a concert? I didn't want to do a recital, but I was like, if we do a concert, that would be cool. So we did our first concert in April, and I used that moment. I was like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell all these people about Jesus. For the first concert, we had about maybe 140 people there, and I was like, you know, okay, I'm going to preach to all these people. So we did, and it was great. And so then we just did another one in November, uh, and... Listen, some of my students, they needed to be saved. They needed to hear the gospel. So I told my students, I was like, hey, whoever brings the most people gets $100, okay? And so anyways, we had uh, just under 400 people that came out. And in inter intermission, I preached the gospel to all those people. And it was so lovely to hear them pray with me. And uh, I asked my students what their favorite part was, you know, when we had lessons after that. And one that stood out to me, there was a girl, she was seven years old. And she ran up to me and she was crying and she was like, you know, I found this out later, but she was like, my favorite part is when you prayed with us. And she was like, you know, I started to cry and I didn't know why. It wasn't a sad cry. It was a happy cry. And I think she's actually here today. She's in kids church. But uh, it, it was just so amazing to see, you know, all these people that, it, you know, it was just, it wasn't a church service. It was just a, a drum recital and to, to see the gospel preached to them and, a, and my, my students are coming to the youth weekend to just attach what you're doing to the kingdom of God. It's just been amazing. And so now the Lord's been increasing us because you can't do something for God without God doing something for you. Amen. So this coming year, I mean, I've passed over 60 students now. We're looking to branch out and get our own property and do our own thing. And so God has just been blessing us in a major way. So just step out and apply the word that you're hearing here. Take a step of faith. Continue to sow and continue to believe God because it, is, it, it may be impossible with men, but with God there is nothing impossible. Amen. <laughs>